Welcome back to Heels in Business. Today you are joining me on a trip to San Francisco for work. I will be there for about a week and a half this time and I am flying with Norwegian on the way there and back. If any of you have watched my other video from San Francisco, you will know that I flew Business BA on the outbound and Premium with Norwegian on the return. I wasn't a huge fan of Norwegian and I wasn't really that keen to do it again, but I am, the flights were the cheapest for premium, so I'm doing it again. And let's see if the experience is any different this time, more positive, and also let's see what the outbound journey is like. Just made it to Gatwick South Terminal. I haven't flown from here for a little while and there's something I may need to leave throw. Um, it took me an hour and 15 and just getting ready to check in. Just went to the Norwegian My Lounge at Gatwick. Not used that lounge before, but it was pretty good. Um, selection of food, good selection of drinks, pretty quiet, quite contemporary looking. And yeah, no complaints there. They had lots of cakes. I, um, what was it? Popcorn that you could put your own selection of toppings on, so like cinnamon, sugar, salt, etc. So yeah. made it to the gates. Didn't have that long in the lounge actually. Um, Norwegian seemed to like to get everyone to the gates super super early. It's over an hour for the flight. I'm quite a compliant person so I've, I've come. Um, found out, I didn't realise, I assumed if you book a premium ticket that you get access to the lounge, you actually need to book a premium flexible ticket to get the perks of the lounge. If you're, if any of you have never, if you haven't travelled with Norwegian before, on long haul flights they have quite a few ticket types with economy starting from low fare, which is really, really basic. Literally, you have to pay for everything with your checked bag. Um,
that I was abruptly interrupted whilst I was trying to explain the ticketing types of Norwegian to board the flights, so they do board really early. Um, but as I was explaining, they have different types, so low, low fare, low fare plus, flexible, premium, premium flexible, and it's the premium flexible that has all the perks, otherwise you pay for a lot. She came back. It's quite warm, so I decided to take my top off. Um, not the easiest feeling when people are trying to board, it would appear. Um, but yeah, nice space on the flight. Headphones in here, phone, water, some accessories that I need during the flight there. And in this section, here is the TV. Can't remember how that. Uh, there you go. Lift. Press the lift button to get the TV out. USB here. Nice screen. The tray table is on this side with the controls for the feet. I remember last time I had to do something to get this to work properly. Um, I'm sure it will all come back to me eventually. This is the lovely blanket that they provide in premium. It's not bad, um, but that's pretty much it if I remember correctly from last time. There, no, there is no amenity kit or pillow that you get with Norwegian.
made it to my Airbnb in Milpitas. I am staying here for four nights and then moving to another Airbnb also in Milpitas for another, was it Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, another four nights actually. And yeah, it's half seven, took me an hour and 15 with the traffic to get from San Francisco down to Milpitas and just feeling a bit tired now. It's been a long day, but I'm going to share with you what the apartment looks like. So it's a large one bed apartment kitchen here. Living space, TV, a random single bed in the corner in case I have an extra guest. There's a balcony out here. With a nice courtyard. And then the bedroom is in here. No, nice large bed. Um, quite sparse, but it has everything I need. And a closet area here. It is finally Friday. I've spent the week working from Milpitas. I am extending my stay until next week, so I'll be spending uh, the weekend here. The decision to stay longer happened after I booked my Airbnb, which is why I am now, as you can see, all packed and checking out of this Airbnb. I'll be moving to another Airbnb later this afternoon when I've finished work. The other Airbnb actually looks really nice and yeah, well, let's see. I will share that with you. It is now 6.30 in the evening. My working week is finally over and I have made it to my next place of accommodation for the next few days. As I mentioned before, I'm staying in another Airbnb. It was only a mile away from the previous apartment and I'm liking it so far. So I'm going to share with you. So this is the kitchen area. So living space, kitchen island, TV, and I will show you the view outside the window, balcony there. Bedroom, nice large bed, and view of mountains out there, which is cool and bathroom so all in all a nice space and I would say definitely a much nicer apartment than the last one it is seven o'clock in the morning and this is the view from the bedroom not the greatest view down here in terms of a building site but off in the distance you can see well not sure how clear it is but there are mountains which are absolutely beautiful and especially seeing the sunrise it is saturday morning in milpitas and i'm going to make myself some coffee this particular Airbnb has been great. It's probably one of my favorite ones I've stayed in so far. It has an espresso machine with capsules, lots of bottles of water in the fridge as well and other treats. So I am going to make myself some coffee. I've got some raspberries to eat and then I am going to hit the gym. Coffee done, snack done, ready to go and hit the gym now.
gym session done, really good gym, really pleased with the facilities at this uh, apartment here. Uh, as I shared, there's three levels to the gym, a core section, strength section, and then a cardio section with really decent equipment. So really happy with that and really needed after a week sat most of the day, <laughs> just sat down most of the day, yeah. So yeah, it's, it's never great when you're in meetings and you just sat there. I like to be a bit more active than that. So it was good to get some, get a decent workout in. Uh, now I am off to the premium outlets and if any of you have watched my last vlog or travel vlog, you, well, not my last one, my San Francisco one, you'll know that I've been there before. It's called the San Francisco premium outlets, but it's, it's a good 30, 40 minutes from San Francisco. It's about 35 minutes from Milpitas. So I am going to drive there now. Made it to the premium outlets, took about 40 minutes. There was a bit of traffic on the highway, um, but not too bad. And yeah, here I am. I, <laughs> I was just about to go into Gucci and it's my sister's birthday coming up. So I thought I would see if I would find her something in there until I saw that there is a queue for Gucci. Therefore, I will not be going into Gucci. Let me share. And a queue for Tony Birch, apparently. Crazy. of hours into shopping it's been a good shopping spree so far I've gone to Bare Minerals much cheaper buying Bare Minerals here than in the UK um, coach I bought this jewelry box um, travel a lot with jewelry um, and I, I'm fairly obsessed with jewelry so it's great to have something to a bigger box to carry it in and a few other bits presents for Christmas and birthdays coming up is my Saturday practically done shopping at the premium outlets and then the perfect way to end it by getting a brilliant pedicure and my nails done as well at um, this place called Queenie's in not far from where I'm staying um, in Milpitas um, it was really really nice probably one of the best pedicures I've ever had actually and yeah good way to spend a Saturday after a long week of working. It is now Sunday. This morning I went to the gym. That was really good. And now I'm off to Winchester Mystery House, apparently a haunted house in San Jose. I thought I would share the scenery. So I'm parked on the rooftop of this apartment block. But yesterday in the distance you could see all the mountains and today it's really foggy and cloudy and I suspect this is due to the wildfires that are happening up in near Sonoma and with the high winds it's affected even down here in the South Bay area. Crazy the difference from yesterday's view. Just completed the one hour, five minute tour of Winchester House. Yeah. Really interesting, quite claustrophobic at times, really narrow staircases. Apparently the building has 160 rooms. We saw 110 of those 
uh, yeah, really interesting tour. Didn't see any ghosts, but then I'm not a really not a believer of ghosts, but there are lots of people convinced that there are ghosts in that house and have claimed to have seen them. Back from my trip to Winchester House, that was really good. After I was finished there, then I walked into San Jose to Santana Row. So Santana Row is quite well known in San Jose for shops and restaurants and bars. So I had a nice walk there, uh, had some food. I went to a Chinese place, had some dim sum. And yeah, and now I'm back at my apartment, ready to relax for the evening. I might go to the jacuzzi and uh, we'll see. Last day in Mill Peters and finally time to go home. I have packed all my things now and I am checking out of the Airbnb. And yeah, I'll be making my way to the airport later this afternoon. So this is the Black Bear Diner in Mill Peters. This is where I've been coming for breakfast in the morning, some of the time, depending on how early I've been getting up. But seeing as it's the last day, I will be eating here today. Breakfast done, not the most healthiest, but I certainly enjoy it. I've got a few more meetings to do this afternoon and then I will make my way to the airport. made it to San Francisco Airport. It took me about an hour to drive from Mill Peters to San Francisco. By the time I got fuel, dropped the car off. Uh, yeah, it was about an hour. And checked in at Norwegian, that went pretty smooth. Um, there was just one person in front of me. And I am traveling back in Norwegian premium class again and I have access to the lounge and as I found out last time you only get that if you buy the flexible fare with Norwegian so not just a premium economy ticket but you need the flexible fare and it is the China Airways lounge. I was in San Francisco for over a week this time so I do feel that I've finally come round to the San Francisco time and now I'm going back to the UK which is eight hours behind. Uh, yeah. That's the downside of long haul travel, the effect of going back and forward in time. Just showing you Wendy's. It's uh, pre-security at San Francisco International and it's a favorite burger of mine. If you haven't tried Wendy's burgers, I suggest you try. made it through the not so fast track security. A bit frustrating, but made it through now and making my way to China Airlines Lounge. Hi.
due to take off any moment now. I've flown Norwegian quite a few times now. Third flight, got my blanket. They, and as I know, they never give you any sleeping mask or socks, so I have my BA World Traveller that I got from business with BA with me, and it's got some flight socks that I've not used with BA and sleep mask to get me through. So, combining um, the amenities that I've got from different airlines on the set line. So yeah, always worth keeping these for when you travel. Hopefully I will get a decent night's sleep. I'm not that hungry, so I might skip dinner and go straight to sleep or relax, watch some TV, then sleep, and then wait for breakfast in the morning. Have is a footrest over there, that like towards well, 
where my feet is pointing to and I always find that I'm struggling for me um, I'm always struggling to reach my, my legs my feet to that rest and I don't get enough support under my calves so for me this is a better compromise if you can't get a business class seat although the service is nothing compared to BL Virgin and also the entertainment options in terms of the film selection is not as good. The other positive, and I can't remember if I've mentioned this on the other video, is that they give you free Wi-Fi. Yes, free Wi-Fi. Um, it's only for very limited, well, limited to say WhatsApp, um, maybe small emails, anything that requires streaming or higher bandwidth, you, there's packages that you can pay for. Um, but yeah, I think it's great that they give you Wi-Fi for free, which Virgin and BA do not give you on their flights. To go onto the internet, you just need to connect to the Norwegian internet access there. And then go to Chrome and go to the web address norwegian.cabin.network if it doesn't do it automatically. And then if you click on go online, it will give you the options in terms of packages. So 12.95 euros for streaming, um, so streaming of music, videos, etc. That's the premium one for three hours. Social and surf for three hours, 4.93 or what I'm going to select which is the free option which is limited internet access and lower internet speeds and where I've used this in the past before this is more than adequate for WhatsApp and some emails as well and select that and then put your email address and yep, it's really really easy to connect to the Wi-Fi I have to say it's working on two of the trips on the outbound trip the Wi-Fi was not working. They apparently had reset the Wi-Fi a few times, but no luck on the outbound, but um, the internet does seem to be working today. Well, it has been quite a long day, and it will be a long day by the time I finally get back to the UK and home. My plan is to now watch a film and hopefully get some sleep. made it back to London Gatwick. In my head I thought I was landing into Heathrow so I was really happy when I realised I'm actually landing in Gatwick as it's much closer to home. It's the little things in life. Managed to get some sleep. I would call it an uncomfortable sleep but I slept intermittently nonetheless and just happy to be finally going home.
back home from my one week and one day staying in the Mill Peters area. It was a good trip overall and I would say what's really nice, every time I go back to San Francisco, well fly into San Francisco and spend time around the Bay Area, Silicon Valley, I realise there's so much to do around there and loads of places that you can drive to in a day and it is an area that I would highly, highly recommend visiting, especially doing Highway 1 if you ever get the chance. I did that last year. I will hopefully do it again and if I do I will definitely share that with you. But yes, it was a good trip, great to have the weekend in um, the area and not just be working all the time and finally good to be back home. Hopefully you found this video interesting, please comment below, I'm always going back there so if you have any suggestions of where I should be visiting please let me know. Don't forget to subscribe and to like.